What I do, train team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with things to know before moving to Australia 2023. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we do? One of the first things I've got to tell you actually is that the birds here in Australia are Ooh. so. The kookaburra, so dope. Freaking loud. That's one thing you definitely need to know before moving here. I get woken up very early every single morning by hey. an absolute chorus because there are no quiet birds here, apparently. <laughs> Anywho, because I am up so early, I am going to go for a walk down at the Botanical Gardens and I might just stop off for a drink on the way. Um, so let's get going. Talking of the wildlife as well, so many times we have it mentioned on our comments and in messages, people worrying about snakes and spiders. And <laughs> to be honest, it's not something that worries us. It's not an mm. everyday thing that we see. Okay. But and spiders, spiders don't bother me, but I mean, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Everybody worries, it's not bad. <laughs> spiders bother me. Spiders do, I know a lot of the ones they see are like harmless, but I know Australia also home to like the most dangerous spiders on earth. But I don't think those are seen very much, I believe. But even the harmless ones, I don't, it's just, I'm just scared of spiders, bro. I'm scared of spiders. I, I would have been straight up. Don't like to see a spider. But I mean, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Everybody worries, it's not bad. Um, oh, bother, I've shut the gates. Yeah, regarding spiders and snakes, don't worry about them. But I'll tell you what you do need to worry about. You need to worry about magpies. <laughs> every, since every Australian, magpies are the are the most terrible creature in australia from what i've heard from most australian videos like it's not the spiders it's not the snakes it's not the sharks it's not all the animals that can only that that are only found in australia that are dangerous it's not your that poisonous octopus it's not your poisonous jellyfish it's, it's not these animals it's these goddamn magpies that terrify people <laughs> They are out to get you. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Let me just go and open the gates. Oh, bloody hell, all my gates are shut. Hang on. It's the thing about living on a farm, there's gates everywhere. Bear <laughs> with. Anybody else used to watch um, Miranda? I love that show. All right, hang on. Miranda. I don't think I've Back seen that Back to where show. we're at. So, magpies. Oh my gosh. You're all worrying about those snakes and spiders. Forget it. Don't worry. What you do need to worry about is the magpies because there is a sweeping season. And I think it's for about six weeks a year where they are trying to protect their young and they just swoop at people. Certain Jesus. areas get particularly dangerous. There are some magpies that are more um, aggressive than others. Jesus. And cyclists, oh my gosh, <laughs> cyclists <laughs> wear helmets um, which have cable ties in them <clears throat> to protect them. You get signs up sometimes about them if there's a particular area that's really dangerous to go through. and. The scary thing about magpies is that they recognise people. So if they take a disliking That's to you, crazy. Then you're in for it because they'll sweep you every time because they won't forget. They're very smart. Forget That's absolutely insane, the fact that they, they recognise people and they I they like I don't forget a face. I catch you coming through my hood again, it's gonna be swoop swoop all in your head. Swoop swoop. Don't don't come through here again. I will remember you. That's good, yeah. I, birds, I birds do scare me. Birds do. I had a bad experience uh, with some. I think they were crows. Were they crows? I don't know. I think they were crows, but I had a bad experience with some birds, and one literally swooped this close to my ear, bro. I like felt a feather from a wing hit my ear, bro. Like when I tell you, I took off spreading faster than I've ever ran in my entire life. After, like, I took off running, I'm telling you, it was like 10 to 15, maybe. 
birds, it looked like that were chasing me, bro. And like, it was, uh, I was, none of them like swooped that close to me, like again while I was running, but I was so scared to death, like heart racing. Oh, like every time I had to walk past that certain area with them birds on the cable lines, scared, fear, fear. My heart started racing. Birds scared me. The snakes and spiders that, before we moved to Acreage, I saw one snake in the wild. It wasn't something I saw every day. You just have to be a little bit sensible, like watch where you're walking. I, I say that and I'm the worst one for it. I'm always on my phone <clears throat> when I'm walking. <laughs> so, oh, wow. I give great advice, but I don't necessarily take it myself. Anywho, that's another story. <clears throat> oh, my throat is so raspy at the moment. Anyone would think I talk too much. Anyway, magpies, <coughs> they're the ones you need to worry about, not the snakes and spiders. I really met I got you. for years, now I just don't really care what you feel, what you feel, what you feel. By the way, you should also know that if you are a coffee lover, then Australia is definitely the right country for you because yeah. Australians are absolute coffee snobs and they <laughs> do the best coffee ever. This isn't actually a coffee. <laughs> they don't like coffee, but I do know from very good sources. Yeah, I feel like from so many videos, we have heard that Australia has the best coffee on earth. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, sweetheart. All right, there you are. To the botanical garden. Let's do it. One thing that no one ever mentions that you really do need to look out for is the kangaroos when you're driving. You might mm. not get it so much in the city or at all in the city, but certainly when you're out of the city and the main areas, they have bugger all road sense. They just literally jump in front of your car as That's you're driving crazy. down an 80K or whatever road and you stand no chance. We, thank goodness, have so far managed to avoid hitting them. But I can easily see, without meaning to, without driving badly, it would be way too easy to hit them. And Jeez. I mean, when I've been to the outback, you see, or even not in the outback, some of the more rural roads, you see them all down the side of the roads where they've been hit by cars. Because as I said, they've just got no road sense. Not only do you not want to be harming wildlife, but also they really ruin your car. Some of them are built like steroid junkies. <laughs> and they are six foot odd. They're massive. The kangaroos will often have joeys in their pouches as well. So you've got to be vigilant Ooh. and especially around sunrise and sunset, because although we've often seen them in the middle of the day, jump in front of our car, but often sunset and sunrise are the times that they'll catch you out talking of cars and yeah, them kangaroos they say we out here taking we out here taking these cars out you feel me we don't let no cars drive on our street and if we do y'all gonna let us cross the road before you before y'all try to go so y'all gonna pay attention because we <laughs> we we ain't that we ain't the smartest of animals and we jump in front of cars and but if you hit us your car is total so used car prices have gone up crazy prices. Being able to get really? a new car is taking a very long time and is not as easy as it once was. So in turn, that's pushed up the prices of the used cars, mm. meaning that you're not actually paying much less for a used car than you are for a new car. Nah, and the funny thing crazy. is, the car accident I had last year was a, um, a total write-off for my vehicle. We bought the car new in... 2017 brand new the payout that i got from the insurance was pretty much what i paid for the car because the value had risen so much that gives you an in insight oh, as wow. to how much used car prices have gone up kind of been filming Yay. while i've been talking <laughs> i've got lost i've been to this botanical garden so many times and i thought i was <laughs> walking down to the water <laughs> But I'm not, and I've never actually seen this part of the botanical gardens before. <laughs> I was oh. going to go waterfront with you, but um, yeah, I've, I've <coughs> the 
water. <laughs> she laughs like, for real, for real. I was just so busy talking that I got lost. <laughs> so you all know that I hate being negative Nancy with you. I am, I love Australia and yeah. I, I love telling you about all the amazing things about it. But certainly if you're moving to Australia in 2023, I can't just tell you all the good stuff. I've got to tell you the reality. We and appreciate that is it. that there is a housing shortage here in Australia mm. and there has been for a little while now. When Ben and I came over, we booked our holiday accommodation for two weeks and we were like, yeah, that's plenty of time to, um, to find a rental. That might not be the case now. So just bear that in mind. And also like many people here are doing, think of other options think about moving out a little bit further you know if you have a half an hour drive you get a half an hour drive every day or an hour's drive every day of beautiful scenery it might be that you consider new lifestyle options which many people here are doing such as um, traveling in a van a lot of people mm. also now are sharing their home it might be that you have a lodger or you get a property that's got a little um, granny flat on the side of it it's just something to bear in mind it's not a reason not to do what you want to do but it just might mean that you need to change things up a little bit think outside the box another yeah, thing i think i have reacted to a couple of videos that were talking about like the housing crisis uh and then how everything was like going up like the prices for apartments and certain rental properties were like insane i was like yo that's it, they were just crazy uh i've seen a couple videos on that and sheesh uh, you just hate to see anyone uh, in a situation where they can't afford a home or they can't afford a place to, to be, especially with a family, or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they can't afford a place, so you got to put like three or four different families in like a two-bedroom house or something like that. Or, uh, you just hate to see people in those positions to where they're homeless or, or situations like that. Uh, and I know here in America, we have like ridiculously uh, large number of homeless and uh, it just it just sucks to see people in that position. That you need to know that you probably already know because it's happening every single country in the world is that prices are going up here. That might leave you a little bit uncertain as to whether you can afford life in Australia. It's we did crazy. a cost of living video quite recently that I'm just going to link up here for you. I'll link it in the description as well. We're a family of five and that will give you a great idea of what the prices are like currently. One thing to keep my cost of living it continues. I know here in the US, it, it for sure is a global thing here in the US, like it's just everything just constantly, bro, like going up and it's like, Jesus, only thing that's not going up, it seems like it's the amount we getting paid, <laughs> but everything else, is, it sucks. It sucks. Money in your pocket though, is that in Australia, we don't tip. So while in some countries, i.e. the USA, <laughs> it's compulsory to tip, or yeah. I don't know if it's compulsory, I think it's compulsory. Isn't some places it is, some places it's frowned upon if you don't, you know, it's not forced to tip, but it's frowned upon if you don't. But some places it is compulsory, they like put it in your uh, ticket. But yeah, I, I swear, tipping is, is craziness, is, is ridiculous that uh, we all get mad at people for, for who don't tip, like as a society here in the US, we get mad at people who don't tip, uh, but we rarely take it out on the companies who don't pay, right? Y'all should be paying the workers a livable wage to where they shouldn't have to rely on people for tips. Uh, so I feel like we get mad at the wrong people. Uh, and cause I don't like to, I don't eat out cause I don't like tipping. And if you watch my videos, you know, I've said it multiple times, like. I'll just order from the restaurant, but I'll eat at home because I don't want to leave a tip after the food's already more expensive than what I could go pay at a grocery store. Let me know if you're American, is it actually compulsory or it's just the done thing? So in Australia, it's not the done thing. Obviously you can tip if you want to, but it is certainly not expected and it is certainly not the norm. Good news, I did find the water. <laughs> How funny, Dang, I found this whole nice other view. garden area um, that I've never seen before, despite being here so many times. For those of you who may think that Australia is all dry, I've got to tell you, I mean, a lot of it is, but mostly where people live, 
it's like this. It's yeah. beautiful, it's green, it's lush, it is stunning That's and awesome. full of life. These botanical gardens really don't disappoint. Wow. Look how beautiful this is. The announcement that we promised you. Drum roll, please. Our Moving to Australia ebook series is finally here. We've got three Ooh. books full of information, advice, stories, checklists, and so much more. I have put everything we know into these three books to help make your move as stress-free as possible and to save you heaps of time and money. The ebook series That's has so been awesome. divided into three books. So the Should I Move to Australia, the Guide to Making the Move to Australia and Arriving in Australia. You can download either one of these books or you can download all three. They will be available on our website, thebamfamlam.com from this Tuesday, the 21st of February, from 5 p.m. Brisbane time. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also head over to our website where you can sign yourself up for early access to our eBooks that are coming out this Tuesday. See you next week. That's so dope, man. Shout out to the band family. I always love these videos. Uh, and they're always so genuine, upbeat, positive, cool people. Uh, you just you really rock with that. I don't know. That kind of energy is contagious. Uh, you guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy D Neil. Out.